world. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, world travelers. So in today's video, Dave and I, we are off to Lima, Peru, the beautiful capital of Peru. But let me tell you this, it was not easy for us to get there. I mean, I'm sure all of you have heard and even some of you may have experienced some of that airport drama mama BS where you have either crazy delays, you miss your connection, or you lose your luggage. Well, we have never experienced anything quite like this before. And it started from Austin until we got to Peru, but we stayed positive. We stayed positive all along the way. We tried our best to because we were about to turn it up in Peru. So yeah, we did the best that we could, but it kind of went a little something like this. Oh my God. Yeah, it's kind of going well. It's like a mile soon out there. Thank you. Oh man, it's it's like crazy. Look at that. So it's interesting because we have to catch this flight to Dallas and it's got to be on time to catch our flight to Peru. If it's not, I know, it's going to be interesting. Trouble. Okay, so really quick before we continue, let me just tell you about the first leg of our flight from Austin to Dallas. So we finally get on the plane after it felt like a million years and it's still raining hard outside. So I'm just saying to myself, okay, well, to the point where you can't even see outside of the windows raining hard. So I'm just saying, okay, well, the storm is probably going to pass. They know what they're doing. They have all this technology. We should be fine. And I kept saying that like throughout, you know, the ride. There's this technology. We should be fine. And then I see lightning strikes outside. And then I turn to Dave and I'm like, why the hell are we about to take off in a plane where there's lightning happening outside, which is one of the main reasons they delayed these flights to begin with. So I'm like, okay, they probably know what they're doing. The storm is about to pass and stay positive. But it wasn't until the pilot made an announcement over the speakers to the steward and stewardesses where he was like, Ksh. stewardesses, would you please remain seated with your seat belts fastened for the entire flight? And then I turned to Dave and I said, holy sh**. The turbulence was crazy from the moment we took off to the moment we landed in Dallas. And that flight is only about an hour and a half maybe, depending on the wind. But it felt like an eternity and I was just in a panic trying to stay calm and I'm freaking out because the plane is doing this and then it's doing this. And I'm like, this, we're just getting started. Okay, so just stay positive. But nonetheless, we stayed positive because we knew, okay, we're headed to Peru. So we think we're gonna enjoy this wonderful adventure. And so we finally get to Dallas. You can see Dallas on the horizon down below. We're starting to descend. The sweat trickling is starting to dry up at this point and we make it into Dallas. All right, let's continue. So we are right now at the Dallas airport quite a bit of a journey to get here and it's still going unfortunately we were not able to connect our uh, get on our connecting flight to peru one oh, the, yeah. the weather it was really bad in austin. Weather in austin it was just incredible there was even like a tornado warning um so it just pushed it back and it kept pushing it back but the saddest part was um we actually got here hours later yeah. and the plane was still here for peru but they weren't letting anyone on right. because they it was so strange, right? Because we arrived and it said it had departed on the monitor. But then we saw people who said that it had actually come back to the gate. And we yeah. again and said it was back to the gate. So then it came back, but they weren't letting people on. Yeah, and That's they said crazy. it was because it was overweight. They said the plane was overweight. So yeah, we wouldn't weird. have made it anyway. So we're trying to reroute and, you know, having some snacks here. 7-Eleven. 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 <laughs> the best. There's nothing else open. We may get a hotel. We may not. We may end up just crashing here before leaving tomorrow. But we have a redirect. We have to go to Miami. And then we have to go from Miami to Lima, which we'll, we'll get there tomorrow night. So we'll see what happens. So this is our apartment for the next 10 hours, maybe. And here's Dave showcasing you how comfortable mm. and luxurious nice pillow. the airport He's nice putting his pillows. head where someone's ass used to be. <laughs> so we decided, we chickened out. It was not very comfortable, so we decided to check in at a hotel. So the we're gonna- The Holiday Inn Express. Yes, but it was a great rate. You know, they gave us these discount coupons, which worked well. We're gonna try and get some sleep because we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah. So it's 
Fort Worth being in the Centurion Lounge here. We didn't know that they had a Centurion Lounge here at the Dallas Fort Worth. We're being a little quiet because there's someone next to us that's actually trying to get a little rest. Um, but we have our lattes. We each get one of these cool cubby holes. We're going to check it out before our flight to Miami, which is like two hours. So we're going to go check out the food. We're going to have some mimosas and uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Sorry we didn't know we had that door. <laughs> of course, we have to be all the way at the end of the day. Exactly. We're just lucky though, it's the same um, terminal. We're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to make it. Dave is a lot more confident than <laughs> me at the moment. I'm more worried about our luggage making it than us making it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> I thought you could I check it with you. I went to um, the airline, Latam, to check to see if we can, and it said check in at American Airlines. This is bizarre. Is weird. And it took me to American Airlines. This, this reminds me. In. This reminds me of the wonderful like laptop experience, where this Microsoft versus like say another company's laptop, and they'll blame the software, and the other people blame the hardware. <laughs> So, we're here. We have a wonderful person here that's helping us out. <laughs> we missed one adventure, but hopefully tomorrow we can catch the dunes and get that all for you guys on film. <laughs> we're excited. We're on leg number three. We're just about to board. It's pretty exciting. Here we go. One more time. One more time. It's like six, six hours. So. <laughs> I know. So we made it to our hotel. We're about 28 hours in. We finally got here with the AC, Mira Flores. There's Dave, we're all getting checked in. There's a cafeteria, I believe, upstairs. A little bar, a little bar bites. We're gonna go check that out. It's actually, Closed, but they were so gracious. We told them that we were starving. So we are now going to have a traditional Peruvian dish, which is called? What is it called? It's called Lo Menos Sentado, which is? Potato. Beef, onion, onion right? Onion, yeah, All the like good that. stuff. And we're getting a, uh, pisco, sour, a pisco sour. A pisco sour, hours, so. so. One four, in the morning. One in the morning. One in the morning. But we know we're hungry. We've been on planes for a long time for today. For a long time today. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. and here, here's the funniest kicker. So, one of our bags, our major bag. Oh yeah. It did not make it into. It's still uh, in Dallas. It's still in Dallas. It so, didn't make it here. So, yeah. uh -oh. fortunately, this big guy right here decided to bring another smaller carry-on, which was able to get some of our things in there, like you know, underwear and my hiking things. boots, a few things. <laughs> But the big bag is hopefully gonna arrive within the next day or two. Yeah. Um, See, I hope you like this shirt. <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna be seeing a lot of that. So we hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was pretty important for us to kind of show you this. And I think the reason why is you can't anticipate your travels. You can't control mother nature. Things happen along the way. So if you're going to be a traveler full time or you are already traveling or thinking about traveling or your first time traveling, things like this can happen. And I think the moral of the story is just stay positive throughout the entire experience because it makes it that much more enjoyable. Plus it gives us something to talk about with you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Try to stay positive. 
It can be hard, but definitely, definitely try to do it. Yeah, and if, <laughs> and if you can't, there's always the bar. If you're over 18 or 21, <laughs> start boozing. Start boozing. <laughs> we finally made it to Peru. We're excited to get this adventure started. And we just want to say, as always, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Scroll over, hit that symbol that looks like a bell so that you get a ping every time we post something new and exciting, such as our next adventure where we are taking things to the desert. We're hitting Wakachina, some of the most amazing views um, in Lima, as oh, yeah. well as sand surfing. Oh, it's gonna be fun, a little uh, dune buggying. Be awesome it's gonna be exciting again thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on the road <laughs> <laughs>